James. Um, as you can see, I can't sleep. <laughs> 3.26 in the morning, and so I thought I'd go ahead and make the uh, video response to your video about the Mac OS X early. So anyways, um, first of all, the first area where you want to go if you're having trouble is go up, and first of all, just let me say that this is, I'm using the Mac OS 10.4, Tiger, instead of Leopard, but it's essentially the same um, the reason I'm using this is this is my computer down in the kitchen, and the reason I'm using it is because it does this um, screen capture much better. Um, I don't have to adjust the screen as dramatically as my iMac 24 inch, which is kind of a pain. So uh, I'm just using this computer for that reason, but again, it's essentially the same. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go up to the Go menu and go down to Utilities. In utilities, you want to find the um, application that says Disk Utility. You click on that. Close that out for you. This comes up, um, and this is what it's going to do is run a first aid. And the first aid really only limited to the uh, disk permissions, <clears throat> but it's very important that these disk permissions are correct in terms of of things running properly on your computer. If they're not correct, things problems can happen. I'm not going to click on it because it takes quite a while, um, but all you do is click on this thing that says repair disk permissions, and in this window in the middle here you'll see the uh, progress of that. Um, okay, once you're done with that, you still have a few other things to do. You close out Disk Utility, and um, you would go to the Keychain Access. If you don't have it in your um, menu bar at the top, you can go to Utilities again, and go to Keychain Access, and without giving away my passwords. <laughs> I just want to make sure you know my passwords are uh, available there. Um, you want to run Keychain First Aid. And you type in your password and you hit, and make sure you hit Repair. And then hit Start. Um, let's see if I can just do that. And it's going to run and you can see it actually found a problem and it fixed it. So, it removed the uh, duplicate and repair completed. Again, keychain, you can have problems with that that can affect other things. <clears throat> so we have that. Um, once you're done with those two, primarily the thing you want to then check, um, and again this is my Mac Mini. This is only a, a 2 gigahertz. <clears throat> As you can see here, it's Mac Mini. 2 gigahertz right there. Um, so it's slower. Now I got memory. I think I have the same as your iMac. 1 gigabyte only. Why I did that, I don't know, but a well, little too late now. Well, it's not too late. I can actually get more memory and jerry-rig the Mac Mini open, but I don't want to break it or I don't feel that ambitious quite yet. Anyways, um, so what you need to, the main thing you need to worry about is running too many applications at the same time. Um, here you have the iMovie HD. That's the iMovie 6. You then have the iMovie 08. Now, I'm just going to show you here when I'm going to open some of these applications. And this one and uh, this one takes a while on this computer because it's a slower computer. Um, and there, there you go. It's only finally now kicking in. So I'm going to minimize that. Um, open Adobe. That's a big one. You can see the, the spinning there. That happens from time to time. And then it's open. Okay, and I'm going to open up pages. And of 
course, there was, you saw a little blinking thing there. That was the uh, Adobe Updater, which does on its own. Doesn't care if you do it or not. So, you can see I'm getting a spinning error because I'm now open, opening many applications. Okay, let's actually, let's open Safari. And for whatever reason, the Yahoo site does not want to work today, or last night even. Kind of annoying, really. Okay. So we have the uh, BBC, BBC website comes open. Now, what we're going to do is go back to Utilities folder. we got all these applications open. We're gonna click on Activity Monitor. And this is going to basically tell you you know what you what you have going what you have open both uh, that you've clicked on and as well as behind the scenes and you can see the the real memory that it's taking and the virtual memory that it's taking also things that are running on Intel versus PowerPC and you can see the CPU usage isn't too terribly high system memory uh, it's using quite a bit. It's uh, again, I have the one gigabyte, and I'm using almost 800 megabytes of that. So only about 200 megabytes is left, uh, which is that's not very much. So disk activity, you can see that there's a looks like a quite a bit going on there. Disk usage is okay, I guess. But again, the system memory is getting maxed, and I only have one, two, three, four, five applications open, not including the activity monitor utility. So uh, it, it does take quick. Now, if you do run the permissions and do run the. Now, there's obviously third party programs uh, to run. Let me uh, just go to my applications folder and see if I can't find. Um, I have Tech Tool Deluxe because I got the Apple Care system, um, and it can go through various. Not sure why it asked for my password, but anyways, so it's gonna. You can go through these various steps of checking your system. Um, and that's and that's one way of doing it. I will say that the Norton antivirus is has always been problematic with Macs. Um, the McAfee antivirus, uh, I can't remember, Virix it used to be called, uh, used to be a lot better. So um, I will say that uh, Norton antivirus is problematic, as are most of the virus programs uh, with Mac. Macs are really immune to it without uh, the, necessi the necessity of having a antivirus program. I know it's always better safe than sorry, but when it comes down to it, you have the firewall for Mac as plus the system for Mac. So um, that's about it. If you have any other questions, uh, I'm sure I'll talk with you. Okay, bye.